Hello and welcome to this short tutorial in which we're going to be looking at different types of picture file JPGs, PNGs and SVGs. Okay, now these are three types of computer file which are used for storing images, pictures and different images. Um, but there's very big differences between these three files and it's uh, helpful to understand them and to uh, know which file is good for which purpose and that's what we're going to find out today. So you're probably familiar with these JPEG, PNG and SVG. You've probably seen these before when you're using your computer or taking photos or uploading photos. Um, and here are three pictures. Each of these I've uh, imported into this presentation. One was from a JPG, one was from a PNG, one was from a SVG. And they don't really look any different. They look very similar when you just look at them like this. So what is the difference between them? Well, there's a very big difference. First of all, JPGs are very commonly used. Um, they're also relatively light, okay? Um, so they can be uploaded and downloaded very quickly. They have a full color spectrum, so you can have a very, very clear, clear look, okay? Um, the problem is, one of the problems is um, they don't have any transparencies, okay? And we're going to talk about that again in, the, uh, in a minute. So there's no layers to it, okay? But generally, a JPG file is perfectly adequate for everything that you need to do. For posters, for photographs, for various images, most people will use JPGs and they're not too heavy. The good thing about not being too heavy is means that you can email them or upload them more quickly. And if your phone can hold, you know, um, uh, 1,000 photos, um, JPG photos, it won't use up that much memory. However, if it's a 1,000 of another file, it will be a lot heavier. Okay, so it will use less of your memory and quicker to send it. Okay, and it's cool. JPG stands for, JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group. And they were the group who uh, came up with this format for saving photos as digital files. JPG. Now, PNG, okay? Well, PNG is very similar to uh, JPG. However, they are heavier, They're heavier files. They also have the full color spectrum. But what is important and very useful about these is that they can have a transparent background. That's right. So if you're gonna do a, um, use some clip art, or you wanna take an image and have a transparent background so you can add it to another poster, then the PNG file is the one that you, you want to use. Um, and I'm going to show some examples of that later, okay? Um, it also, yeah, has a full color spectrum. Um, and the reason it's a bit heavier is because it has that second layer on it, and that second layer helps it to be transparent if you need it. So usually you wouldn't use a PNG um, file, you wouldn't save a document as a PNG file unless there's something transparent in there you want to use. Otherwise, Go ahead and download it as a JPG. Okay. Um, the disadvantages, yeah, requires more memory. They're heavier files. Um, it can't be animations, and they're not universally supported. JPEGs are, are found more often elsewhere. Okay. Moving on. SVG. Now SVGs are very different. They can be created in text editor or code. They're actually created from create from computer code. Okay. Um, and they can be designed. They can also be created in drawing software. What's great about these is they can be rendered to any size. Okay? It doesn't matter how big they are, the quality of it isn't lost because it's written using code. Um, and they've, as a result, they're very, very sharp. Okay? Now it says here one of the advantages the files are small. Yes, if it's a simple file, if it's a simple image, like a logo or something small, um, something basic then it's, it's, a, it's a light file. However, if it is a picture like this cat, um, then it is not light. It's very, very heavy. So this is the disadvantages of SVGs, okay? It really only works with two-dimensional images, otherwise it's far too heavy. Complex images are very hard to work with, it's, and it's not ideal for detailed images, okay? So SVGs you'd use for um, something more like this. So if it's a logo or something like this, this would be a perfect for an SVG image. It's not too heavy. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to you'd be able to blow it up very, 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 very high. Okay. So talking about the weight of these pictures, let's have a look at this slide now. So I downloaded this picture 
um, in three different formats. As a JPEG, you see it's 133K. Um, as a PNG, it's 1.12. But as a SVG, which was, as I said, it's computer code, 4.7 for that picture. So that's an incredible difference, okay? Um, if it was just a simple logo, then the SVG file would be a lot lower, okay? But for a detailed picture, it's very, very heavy. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a little look at these images in, in use. Um, we're gonna use Canva and we're gonna have a, import these images and then you can see really how the difference is. So let's take a look. Now, I've been doing some uh, activities, drawing activities for dot day, and I've been doing that in Google Drawing. And I've created this dot, and I've also created this dot, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna download these, okay? So from Google Drawing, you can download it as a JPEG, as a PNG, or as an SVG. I'm gonna do all three, there you go. So I'm gonna load it as a JPG, download it as a PNG, and download it as an SVG, okay? And a good place to look at how these files are different is actually inside you know, um, a graphic design um, format platform such as Canva. So I'm gonna to go to Canva. I've logged into my Canva account now. Hold on. Okay, so I've logged into my Canva account. I've given my, uh, my image this colorful background. Okay, and I have three, my three files which I downloaded. So I'm gonna upload these to Canva. That's my JPEG. That's my PNG and that's my SVG, okay? And they all upload there, okay? So JPEG, PNG, SVG, okay? Now, as I said, the JPEG doesn't have a transparent background, okay? So if you're sort of, you know, creating design work and you're, you know, adding pictures together onto a poster or something like that, this is really a pain, okay? Because you have this white background and it's really no use, okay? For doing that kind of thing. For other pictures, it's fine. And when I finish this, I will download it as a JPEG, okay? And that will be absolutely fine. But when you're doing design work and you want something with a transparent background, JPEGs are not good. Let's now take a look at my PNG. So you see here, transparent background, wonderful. Okay, and I can uh, you know, do everything with that, move it around. Okay, so very, very convenient. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna actually zoom in on this image now, okay? So I'm gonna make it kind of small. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, I'm gonna make it kind of small. I'm gonna zoom in on it, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look how much we can. So you can see already when you're zooming in, it's already pixelating. You're already seeing the pixely edge around the, around the side, right? And this would be the same on the, uh, on the JPEG as well, okay? And as you zoom in, you can see there? Yeah, because it's made of pixels. When you zoom in a lot, you start to get that pixel effect, okay? And obviously if it's a lower quality image, it will pixelate even more, okay? So this is, the, this is what a JPEG and a PNG would look like close up, okay? This kind of pixely edge on things, okay? So yeah, you see, that really doesn't look very good, right? If you zoom in that much, or if you were to blow it up, to be a giant poster the size of a, you know, a billboard or something. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that. Now I'm gonna add my, um, this image, let me zoom out. Okay, so this one here is our SVG, okay? And it, uh, this also has a transparent background, which is nice. And I'm gonna zoom in on this one. Let's see what happens when I zoom in on this. Okay, and you can see there, it's not pixelating at all. Now look, look. Okay, dead clear, completely clear all the way, okay? And that is the beauty of an SVG. Okay, you can get your logo, you can blow it up to a ginormous size, the size of a building, and it will still be completely, completely clear, okay? So I hope that helps, and I hope by seeing it in action, that also kind of explains the situation a little bit better, okay? JPEGs, PNGs, SVG. So depending on what it is that you want to do with your um, design, with your work, then you'll choose the correct file um, and create some great work. 
So thanks for watching. I hope you've found this video useful. I hope you've better understand about this topic. If you do, click like, leave a message, and remember to subscribe and check out all of our other videos. Thanks very much for watching.